3. Wieder mitten in Action. I hadn't seen it coming, but that was no surprise. It's hard to keep your eye on the ball through the bottom of a glass. I just hoped I could get to Fabiana and Giovanna in time. Loaded. I knew if I didn't get to the girls soon, they'd be leaving this place with either a price on their heads or a tag on their toes. The doors had been chained shut. I didn't need my Portuguese <coughs> Fabiano's <coughs> phrase book to work out what was going on. The guy making the noise was the boss. He was sending them around to cut me off from the other side. And sure enough, a few seconds later, I had some company on the dance floor. There had to be another way out through the VIP lounge. Rich fools love a private exit. I didn't know what they were, but this was a night and I'd never been a picky eater. It's not good. Some guys took Giovanna and Fabiana. What? Jesus, Max. Hey, I'm on my way. No, no, no. Stay in the chopper. We'll need a way out of here. I'll go find the girls. Got it. They came out there. They went that way into the lounge. Come here. Go, Get up. Get up. Can't stay here. I need you to lock this door behind me. Get everybody else out of here. Son of a bitch.
another delay I didn't need. This wasn't looking good. I'd almost lost the boss's wife once this week. Oh, now I was giving them two for the price of one. Oh, play this one. Mm -hmm. okay. All this unfinished business, and all I could think about was my unfinished scotch. Okay. As I like to indulge in self-reflection, this wasn't the time. It looked loud and expensive enough to be Fabiana's. Her fashion sense didn't leave a whole lot of room for imagination, let alone food. The girl sure knew how to draw the eye, and maybe that was the problem. But at least I was heading in the right direction. Yeah. Ah, don't shoot, por favor! You an American? Sure. Yeah, I'm from Steele, North Dakota, just outside of Bismarck. Anders Detling. This is some place, huh? They, they told me it was a little fresh, but I wasn't expecting things to be quite like this. No? No, see, I've, I've seen things. I was a cop for 25 years. I've seen men run over by combines. I've seen husbands who just ate their wives, but a gunfight in a disco? You were a cop? Yeah, just retired. Oh, what a life that was. And it gave me the money to raise a family. Oh, I got a girl at college in Wisconsin and a boy who's playing football for Minnesota State. You want to see their picture? No, no, that's all right. Oh. Sounds nice. Listen, you stay in here. Don't be a hero. Oh, I won't. I'm retired. Happy, Not healthy that, ex cop. Give me a break. Whatever the hell they were arguing about. It was time for me to add my two cents. The one thing I had in common with the clientele of this trendy hellhole, some shared habits. For all I knew, they were gone already. I couldn't stop now. Radio kann ich kaputt machen. Die Lautsprecher wieder nicht. Das war ja klar. Das ist für mich. I had no choice but to keep pushing forward. Oh, ein Bock. Was ist Essen angefangen? Oh, fuck, hier wollte es auch keinen. Victor's political campaign was starting to come unstuck. Seemed the Broncos luck was on the turn. If only that was the worst news they'd received that day. Okay. They were still alive at least. This crew was starting to look a lot like friends of the gate crashers at last week's party. These guys had some real issues with the Broncos. They were back to finish the job. I figured it was time to start doing mine. Oh, 
This wasn't the time to be second guessing myself. I had to hurry or I'd lose them. They were headed for the helicopter pad. I had to get to the roof before Giovanna and Fabiana left on a one-way flight. I knew this was going to be a bad idea, but in the continued absence of any good ones, I decided to go with it. What a view. I guess my time in Sao Paulo wasn't quite the paid holiday in the sun I'd been promised. At least I was getting shot at by a better class of psychopath. Oh, These guys weren't messing around. This place was like Baghdad with G-strings. A couple of more seconds and I'd have given some poor street cleaner a crappy start to his day. Now, I had a ride to catch. All I said! Jumped us. Same guys from the party, I think. They grabbed the girls, and Marcelo, but he's here now. Yeah, don't worry about me, homie. I'm just the guy paying you lots of money to protect me. Yeah, what were you drinking? Bet your ass I was. You try staying in there for five minutes sober. Oi, oh, yeah. Look, there they are. Ah, was 
Scheiße, eignet Split ab. <lacht> There was a goddamn army of these goons. Clearly, somebody wanted these girls bad. Or maybe they just assumed the Bronco's security team consisted of more than a drunk American has been and a Brazilian never was who should have paid more attention in flying school. Either way, I needed to find Giovanna before they did. <laughs> Where the hell was Passos? We were two failed cops failing miserably at being bodyguards. He approached everything with about his huh. life. It was Giovanna's necklace. I had to hope the rest of her was still intact. That's good.
Giovanna! Giovanna! Max! Over here! What's happening? Where were you? Are you all right? What, do I look all right? Uh, don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Basil's crazy. Is he okay? You had to make a quick detour. He's fine. He's right there. Oh my God. It's Raul! Giovanna! Oh! What the hell are you doing? Giovanna! Ah. Hey! No, nothing. Go. Seems like I wasn't the only guy around here who had taken his eye off the ball. Are you okay? My weakness was the drink. Paso's was the sister. Things were turning pretty ugly in this town. The boss's girl was gone, and part of me wished I was too. Der kotzt erstmal die Pflanze. Also ich baller mich hier ja. Also Maxel ballert sich hier ja schon die ganze Zeit die Birne voll. Und muss auch noch kämpfen. Ah, ausstrecken, alter Schwede. do we have? We have never paid out ransoms before. But I don't know. I don't like the feeling of this. Music, huh? What about you, Max? I don't know. Uh, I'm no expert on hostage negotiations. I, I know people who are, but they're in America. We don't have time for America. I know you're right, Marcelo. It's not like I don't have the money to pay. Father made a lot of money. We have always been targets. We all know that. But much as it pains me, I don't see we have a choice. Maybe after we pay, we find out who did it. We have them... But we all know what I'm saying. Who do you think is targeting your family? Haters! Who can say? Life in this country is not easy, you can see that. I have tried to do business the right way, but that's not always possible. Of course I made enemies, but I've also paid a lot of bribes. It's probably that street gang trying to get a I don't know. People I know have tried to reach out to this group. Commando Sombra. They're not from any of the favelas around here. They're linked to the drug business. Now, what have I got to do with drugs? Nothing. Everybody loves money. I should run my wife back. <clears throat> we can take the money to them. What's he saying? Open the bag, show me it's full of money. Depressa, porra, depressa. Easy, pal, easy. Vem. Hey, what's this? Ah. Apparently, someone up in the nose hey, didn't like hey. the game we were playing. The money was gone. Then I was next if I didn't get off that field. The bullets came from long range. Hey, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. A well armed professional. Oh. Apparently, someone up in the nosebleeds didn't like the game we were playing. The money was gone. Then I was next if I didn't get off that field. The bullets came from long range. They were well armed professionals, and I was starting to feel decidedly amateur. <laughs> Apparently, someone up in the nosebleeds didn't like the game we were playing. The money was gone, then I was next if I didn't get off that field. The 
shots came from long range. They were well-armed professionals, and I was starting to feel decidedly amateur. Uh. I'm out of traffic, you see. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Bella. I'll be close. Let's go. There's got to be a first aid kit around here somewhere. I'd been shot more times than I could remember. But this felt different. Maybe fate was sending me a message. Trying to tell me my luck was finally about to run out. Or maybe I'd just severed an artery and was bleeding out like any number of fools who got shot. Naja, aber das sehen wir in der nächsten Folge. Also, Leute. Bis die Tage, tschaußen.